Do you want to know how to turn $10 to $15 investment into $20? every two weeks. Well, with steam monsters and a little bit of fun, you can. So let's see how. Okay, Steam Monsters is the digital trading card game on the Steam blockchain. Now it's pretty fun to play and it's quite addictive. So you wanna make sure you've got a little bit of time on your hands. And these are some of the digital cards that you can collect on the Steam Monsters game. Now there's a few different splinters. A splinter is a color in this instance. And uh, I'll go through which ones are best and which ones you can use to get started. So first of all, you're gonna to need to go ahead and purchase a starter set. I'll put my affiliate link down below. And if you use that and I can confirm it, I'll send you a free Steam Monsters booster pack for my way of saying thanks. So let's go ahead and create an account. You can use a promo code or a credit card, PayPal, or even crypto. So we'll click crypto, and then go ahead and create an account. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose a name here. So just choose any name. If it's actually being used on the Steam blockchain already, it'll let you know pretty quickly. So this one's just called SM Black, Steam Monsters Black. We'll just check the name, and it's all good. So you go ahead and generate the password. Now, this is your master password, so you wanna make sure you actually keep it safe. I store my passwords in a key safe, but you wanna save it at least in a couple of places because if you lose this password, you lose access to your account. But if you haven't changed it, Steam Monsters might be able to help you recover it. Anyway, let's go ahead and confirm that I've copied the password, and I understand that if I lose the password, I will lose access to the Steam account and the Steam Monsters will store an encrypted copy of the password and may recover it for you. And now we go ahead and we make a payment. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a payment with SBD, which is Steamback Dollars. Um, they also accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, and Dash. So it's pretty comprehensive. But let's go ahead and pay with SBD. Now I'll make the purchase. And based on the current SBD price, I'm paying 10.34 SBD. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pay with Steam Connect. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my just to random account. And that's it. So now it might take a couple of minutes to confirm the transaction. It's never really that long. And there we go, I've actually created my Steam Monsters account. Now it wants to take you to the collection straight away. Because when you join Steam Monsters, not only do you get a Steam Monster account, you actually get 30 free cards. Now, these free cards are actually gonna help you to earn Booster Pack, which in turn contain more cards. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got. So we've got five red, we've got five blue, we've got five green, five white, five black, and we've got five neutral cards. We can go ahead and just click on the all cards and it will just show you the ones we actually own. As we see, it's 30 cards in total. Now, if you actually went to the market right now and tried to sell these cards, you could probably sell them for around about five, six dollars. So you haven't really lost any money at this point. So at this point in time, your only outlay is really about four dollars. But we're gonna make that back pretty quickly because Steam Monsters has a league that you can play in. And when you play in this league, depending on how you go, you may win some packs. So let's have a look and see what happens when you first play your first game. You'll get maybe zero to 99 points. Now, you won't get any rewards for this, but it's pretty easy to get past that with just a few games. And as we got the leagues, we can see Bronze 3 is giving us one booster pack and Bronze 1 is three. We keep going through the Silver League and you can earn up to six booster packs and through the gold, you get nine booster packs. Now I'm gonna to try to take my account from zero to 2,800 and receive 10 booster packs along the way. Now it's pretty hard to do with just the standard 30 cards that you receive. So this is where the extra $5 comes in. Now if you've actually got that $5, that's great. If not, you can go ahead and start to do some quests and those quests will allow you to win a booster pack each time. 
and that can be done every 24 hours. So what I would normally do is just see what the first quest is. Now in this case it's Pirates Attack, which is actually the blue team. Today I'm going to actually show you how to make the black team stronger. But let's go ahead and do this quest really quickly. So we just click on Ranked, and we're going to use one of these summoners. These summoners are required to actually play a team. So we're going to summon the blue team, so we need a blue summoner. Now we can only do level one, so let's just see what we've got in here. We want to start with something that uh, we would call a tank, which is the card that you play at the beginning. Now we've got two choices here, we've got this one or this one. Now I think this one's got a little bit more health, so let's put him in front. Then we want to go ahead and use a card like this, it's called the Elven Cutthroat. So as you see here, we're actually going up, we have to have no more than 22 mana spent. So let's see what else we can play with. We might put the a Pirate in, and then also the Crustacean King, and we might go ahead and pop in the Water Elemental as well. So let's go ahead and see how this team rates. Let's click on Battle. Now sometimes it takes a little bit of time to match up your opponents, but generally when you're playing level one decks, you get level one teams. Um, so as long as you've actually made a decent team, there's a good chance you'll win. Ah, there we go, we've got a matchup. Now it also depends on the time of the day because it is pretty new, so not everyone is playing right now. So we go ahead and click Rumble. Now we're playing against the red team, so this should be interesting to see how it plays out. Now I'll just uh, maximize this so you can see what's happening. You can actually use these buttons on the side, and this might speed up the play a little bit. And the game is automatically played by the computer. So we're doing okay. We possibly could lose another player soon and that wouldn't be so good. So let's see how we go. Okay, it looks like we'll be fine and we should have our first win. And there we go, we got 22 points for our first win on the quest. So I'm going to go ahead and battle again, and I'll get back to you when I've completed 10 ranked battles. Okay, that was fun. So let's go ahead and see how we went. We went ahead and we won 10 ranked battles. Now we can go and have a look at some stats here. As you see, with a level 1 deck, um, you sort of win some and you lose some. So it does take a little bit of time and as you see it took about 35 minutes to win that one pack. But there is a quicker way to do this. You just need another five dollars to buy some extra cards and level up your monsters. But let's go ahead and claim this pack. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the quest, Pirates Attack, and you've won one booster pack. So let's open this pack and see what we've got inside. We just go down to the Open Now button, and the cards will appear, and every time you click on one, they turn over. So now we're adding some extra cards to our team. In fact, these blue cards are really useful. And we get a neutral, and every pack actually contains at least one rare. So since we haven't got one already, we know that this is at least going to be a rare card. And there it is. It's another Coctress. So that's pretty cool. And that is the first pack you've earned. Now, a one pack is equal to two US dollars. So you've made your first two dollars. Although sometimes the cards aren't quite worth that amount. But in this case, if we have a quick look at the Coctress, in the marketplace, we can see it's worth 64 cents, which is pretty cool. Um, we can also have a quick look at this card here, it's worth 15 cents. And some of the other cards are probably worth a few cents each as well. So it's not too bad, 
And if money's more important to you, and you don't want to do a long-term investment in steam monsters, well, you could go ahead and sell those packs on the market for about a dollar eighty each, or a dollar sixty if you want to sell them really quickly. Okay, so you can complete one quest every twenty-four hours, and if you go ahead and play just at your level one cards each time they come up, well, you could actually win fourteen packs over a whole season. Now, it gets a little bit harder to play as you go further up the leaderboard. Let's have a quick look at the leaderboard right now. What the leaderboard is telling us is that we've actually earned one pack at the end of this season. So let's have a quick look at the league overview and see where we are. We're currently in the Bronze League. If we go back and have a quick look at our ranking, and this is our rating. This is the important number we want, so 223. Let's go back to the league overview and bronze, and we see if we get to 400 points, we'll actually be earning two booster packs. So you can go ahead and do quests, or you could actually go for the end of season bonus packs. I'm actually gonna show you how to get the end of season packs. You can go ahead and do quests along the way. Each season is currently two weeks long. Well, if you do the math, you could end up with around about 20 packs. Now, I said you could earn $20, but really, that's about $40 in value. That's pretty good, over two weeks, for a $15 investment. So where does this other $5 come into it? Well, what we wanna do is improve our chances of winning by leveling up these cards. Now, to level up the cards, you need more than one. In this case, we've got two cards, but you actually need three to get to level two. And what we can see is as we get to various levels, the abilities of the cards improve. So this particular card, you'd want to get it to level three, so at least it's got a bit of attack damage as well. But today we're going to concentrate on the black team, because black is actually quite a good team to get started with. This haunted spirit is a little bit overpowered, but don't tell the creators of Steam Monsters or else they'll nerf it and make it less important. But there's some also some black cards here that are actually quite good. We just probably need a few more, and that's where the extra $5 comes in. Okay, so let's go over to the marketplace. But before I do, I have deposited five Steam dollars, which is about worth five US dollars into my SM Black account. This way I can keep track of how much money I actually spend. And maybe in a few months, I might do another follow-up video. And I'll see how this SM Black account has improved with just 15 US dollars initial investment. So let's go over to the Peak Monsters Marketplace. Now this is a much better way to buy cards. Uh, you'll see on Steam Monsters there is a market screen here, but you have to go through each one and it takes a little bit of time to actually purchase this way. So I use peakmonsters.com and we just go across to the market. Now, I'll explain a little bit more about peakmonsters.com in another video, but for now, you can go ahead and make some purchases. So let's go ahead and add to our collection. We'll just click on a beta, and we want to scroll down here because we only want to look at the death or black cards, because those are the ones that we want to focus on today. So let's go down and see what we can afford. First of all, we need to improve our summoner. Now, summoners are usually the most expensive cards. So we're gonna spend at least a dollar just to get our black summoner to a level two. So essentially you need three of the same card to get to the next level. Uh, it does increase as you go further up the levels, but that's enough to get started with. So let's go ahead and purchase two cards. Lucky for us, there's two at 48 cents each. We'll just click on the shopping cart and we're just going to pay in SBD because that's what I have in my account. And then you go ahead and put in the password that you saved earlier when you created your account. So we'll just click sign in here and the transaction has been completed. So let's have a quick look at our account and make sure it actually went through. So I'm just going to refresh the account and go and have a look at collection and we'll go on to black, and we can see now we have three cards. This is our summoner, and we have three cards. This is the beta edition cards, and if we just hit combine max, we can see now we'll move to level two. So let's go ahead and click okay. 
And now if we have a look at the stats, we can see that a level two summoner can actually summon level three commons, level two rares, level two epics, and level one legendaries. So we can now improve our deck a little bit further. So let's go back to the market and do that. Now, one of the most powerful cards in black is the Haunted Spirit. And this is why we're going ahead with black. So let's go ahead and we'll actually level him up to level two as well. So we just need a couple of those cards. And we'll just go and purchase some other things before we actually check out. So this Undead Priest is actually another pretty powerful card too. And we're gonna need three of those cards. So we can go ahead and purchase these and these. So let's go ahead and make that purchase. Now another important card to have is the Twisted Jester. So we're gonna get a couple of those as well. So we'll just pop those into our shopping trolley. And we also wanna level up this Skeleton Assassin. He's quite powerful too. So let's go ahead and add a few of those. We might level him up to a level three, just because we can use a level three card. So we've already got one, we'll just add another four. I'm just gonna go check these out to make sure that they actually don't get sold because it's a pretty dynamic market and when cards are listed at a cheap price, uh, they usually go pretty quickly. So just go back into the collection and just verify that they've come through. Now, as we see, maybe one of these uh, Twisted Jesters were actually sold. So let's just go ahead and combine these cards now, uh, bring this up to a level two and we'll bring up the Assassin into a level three by combining five cards. And the Twisted Jester, yeah, we only got two of those that we purchased. So we need to go and purchase another one of those. And because we've got a little bit extra, um, we want to also upgrade this uh, Undead Priest and also the Cotrus is always handy to have. So let's go ahead and upgrade that one too because we're kind of missing one of the cards here. So I've just gone ahead and just done this ahead of time. Uh, so now we've got the uh, three of each of these cards. So let's just upgrade them. Okay, so that's done. And now we just need the Cotras. And we've got three of these, so we'll just combine for a, a level two. So this is also pretty cool. Now we can go ahead and test this in the battle arena. So we're gonna get rid of the uh, blue cards that we used to uh, complete the quest. And now we'll go ahead and put the ace team together. So it always starts with the summoner. Uh, and then we always go with the haunted spirit because that's got an automatic heal. The skeleton assassin usually goes next for me because it's got a melee attack. And I usually put the Undead Priest and then follow it with the Twisted Jester. But, you know, you have to trial and error some of these things as well. So we'll just use the Elven Cutthroat because that's actually got Sneak Attack. And we'll pop that near the front as well. And finally, we've got two mana left, so let's just pop in this Cotrus. So that's what the team looks like. Let's just test it out and see if it's good enough. Now, I also like the Haunted Spider, but I uh, can't quite squeeze him in at the moment. But I should upgrade that when I actually get a little bit extra money. But the aim here was to limit the, this deck building to a maximum of $15 in total. And that's including the starter pack. So let's see how she performs. Now we're up against a level one team here effectively, so we shouldn't even have a problem. But we'll just play it out just so you can see what actually happens here. Uh, generally, anything with a uh, self-heal works out pretty well. So the Cerebus, if you've got a fire team or red team, uh, is also a good lead card as well, but it's not quite as powerful as my level two. So as you can see, we're wearing him down and eventually we're gonna just pop them away. So we haven't even lost one card at this stage and we're unlikely to lose any cards too. So that was a good matchup against red and we won. So 257 points now, and we're aiming to get to 2,800 in total to get 10 packs for the season. This season's only got another day or so to go, so I doubt very much I'll get that far. But let's have a quick look at the league overview. So the next uh, rating will be 400 to get two packs. And they're free packs. You know, you just have to battle, have a little bit of fun along the way, and uh, you're getting free packs. So this is where Steam Monsters is awesome 
because you only need to spend maybe $15 to have some competitive uh, decks and uh, you can definitely win some money in the low ranks. So we've still got a little bit of uh, Steam dollars left in our account. So let's see if we can improve this deck just a little bit more. Now there isn't too many magic cards in the black team, but the Screaming Banshee for three mana is actually quite effective. So we'll go ahead and we should be able to purchase three of those and still get within our budget. So we'll go ahead and just use a already combined card there. And we'll just check that out. Again, check out pretty quickly after you've selected cards because they do go off the market pretty quickly. They're not held for you at all. Okay, so we'll just go back into our collection and make sure they came through. Now we've got the Screaming Banshee here. Let's just click on that. And yeah, it's level two already because we purchased it at a level two, so that's fine. And now we can go ahead and try out this new deck. So we can get rid of a thing with three mana, which will be the Elven Cutthroat. And we'll pop the Screaming Banshee in place there. So we'll bring it up a bit because um, if she actually does get to the front, magic actually can attack. Whereas something like a ranged attack uh, can't actually attack from the front. So let's see how this one battles out. Oh, so we're playing black again. And uh, this should be interesting. And they've... And we've got a level 2 team, but uh, they've got a level 1, so we know how this is going to play out. Generally, level 2 beats level 1, unless they're a really crap team builder. But uh, if you go ahead and use what I've given here, you pretty much should be right. In most formats, you might just have to add a card or take a couple of cards away, but generally it's not overpowered and it will compete in most of the decks. Always leave with your Haunted Spirit because that's probably the most powerful card in black at these low levels. Now we're just going to have to wear this one down because um, he's got a heal as well. But because we've got actually another two ranged coming in here, uh, he's actually going to wear down a lot quicker than ours. So we should finish him off now. So that team looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play a few more games and uh, see where I get to. But before I go, just a reminder about the affiliate program. Um, once you've joined Steam Monsters, you can actually refer people and get 5% of the lifetime of their purchases. So if you use my referral code, I'm actually going to reward you with a pack. So if you pop into my little spot here, which says that you've actually become an affiliate, then I will go ahead and send you a steam monsters booster pack for free so that's going to add to your account as well but you need to be approved so definitely use the link i put down below to make sure you get your pack okay so i'm going to go off and play a little bit more steam monsters uh, with this black team i'm also going to quickly give you an update on the other colors if you prefer the other splinters and I'll just show you which is the best cards to purchase if you're going to go with the standard team plus another $5 if you can afford it. Be back shortly. Okay, so I'm back with my Ace Black team. I've been grinding away a little bit. Uh, it hasn't been that long, but let's go ahead and check on the leaderboard. So right now at the end of this season, which actually ends in one day and two hours, uh, I'll receive seven packs. Now, if I had a little bit more time, I'm pretty sure I could grind it out all the way to 10 packs. But if you include a few daily quests along the way, uh, you're actually going to get well over 10 packs in a season. So it's definitely worth going ahead and purchasing a Steam Monsters account and getting started today. Again, I'll put my affiliate link down below. And if you use that link, uh, yeah, sure, I'll send you a free pack as soon as you appear as a referral. Now, a black is probably the best team to get started with. Uh, in the lower levels, it's definitely overpowered. But as you get into the higher levels, uh, it's not as competitive as some of the other teams. But if you want to get started and you want to just do this, getting 10 packs every season, well, black is definitely one place you want to get started. As you see, I've only got one epic card in here. There's a few rares, but they're fairly cheap. And the commons are reasonably cheap as well. So let's go and have a look at some of these other Steam Monster Splinters. Okay, so I put together a, a red team. Uh, I'll, have, I'll show you what that looks like. So basically for the extra $5, I was able to level up the Summoner to level 3. 
the Fire Beetle was level 3, Cobalt Miner level 3, and the Goblin Shaman, which I don't think I had, is also a level 3. The Cerebus is actually your uh, tank, so he's the card you play at the front. I managed to get him to level 3, and a Fire Demon at level 2. So that was all for an extra 5 US dollars, so that's pretty cool. And if we go and have a look at our battles, I've already managed to go through and do a quest. So I've actually got a pack to open here, so let's quickly open that pack and see what other cards we get in. Usually you want to open these packs as you're getting them, because there could be some cool cards you could use for your deck. So I've got a couple of uh, black cards here, which is awesome, but um, I actually got a red deck on this team, so it's not really helping me much at all. So we'll just close that pack, it's fairly average. Uh, and on the leaderboard, I've already ground this uh, to three packs. So, you know, again, we've only got a day to go, but I'll get a few extras and then I'll get serious next season. So let's have a look at some of the other colors. Okay, so this is my uh, blue account. Uh, if we just click on blue here and you'll see what uh, cards I was able to upgrade for the $5. Auric Stormbring is actually quite expensive, so only got him to a level 2. Brought in the Saber Shark. Crustacean King came to level 3. Pirate Captain level 3. Medusa to a level 2. I got the Water Elemental to level 2. And the Naga Warrior, which wasn't in your original pack, uh, is actually really powerful, and I managed to get her to a level 2. So that's pretty cool as well. And with a little bit of grinding, I'm already up to 4 packs. So I think I've got a... Uh, yep. It looks like I've got a pack to claim as well for the quest. So always try to get your quests done early um, because the ranks are fairly low and it's pretty easy to win level ones on the quests when you don't have a very high rating. So we'll go ahead and open this pack and see what we got in this one. So again, this is a blue account, so I'd like a few more blue cards, but uh, we've got a... Uh, Twisted Jester rare here, so that's pretty cool. If you know somebody and uh, you can trade a few cards, well that's great, otherwise you can just go ahead and sell them on the market. So let's go ahead and have a look at a, another color. Okay, so this is my uh, green account, and this time I was able to do a little bit more with the $5, because the green cards are fairly cheap at the moment, so I managed to get a little bit extra bang for my buck. Here we've got uh, the Liana Natura, she's been leveled up to a level 3, so that's really where you're trying to aim to if you want to grind those 10 packs out per season, but uh, you do what you can with what you've got. You can certainly sell some of the other color uh, cards that you don't need either and, and stick to one particular color that you prefer. So I managed to get the Earth Elemental and that's a level three as well. Uh, Goblin Saucer, level three. The Flesh Golem is really important because that's your tank. Uh, he's got 10 health and he's got an auto heal as well. So that's pretty good to get to level three as well. Um, also, I managed to get a Swamp Thing. Now I wanted to get a couple of those, but I ran a little bit short. Um, but anyway, uh, I think when you take him up to the next level, he actually has one ranged attack as well. So let's see how I've done with that. So right now I've actually managed to grind out six packs. So that's not too bad. And I have a feeling I might have a pack to open up here as well. So I managed to get the quest as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this pack and uh, see what's inside. So again, this is my green account. So some green cards would be nice. There we go, another flesh golem. And... And uh, Zintar, so that's actually worth around about 90 cents at the moment, so that's not a bad little turn. All right, so we'll just close that, and let's go and have a look at our final color, which is white. Okay, so this is my white team, so we'll see how this goes over a few months as well. Um, here we go, I managed to get the uh, summoner up to level 3, which, so he was reasonably cheap as well. Civil Shield Knight to level 3, the Feral Spirit to level 3, Divine Healer level 3, and I managed to pick up a Defender of Truth and an Air Elemental. And actually I haven't managed to combine those cards at the moment, so let's go ahead and combine those and bring that up to a level 2. So that's going to make him a little bit more powerful. Let's just see where that takes him. It's probably just an increase in health. 
Well, actually, it's an increase in attack power, so that is going to be super powerful. And uh, I've also managed to upgrade this guy with a few cards too. So again, this is all done for five extra dollars. Now, you have to get the money in to Steam. Um, the only problem is, is if you haven't got any crypto, then that's going to be pretty hard. So you can go ahead and maybe buy a few packs and maybe sell them on the Discord channel. But uh, effectively, this is what you need for your white team. I haven't really played this one much. Oh, I have got up to six packs though. So he's reasonably strong and I've just upgraded a couple of other cards I didn't realize I'd done already. So let's just see, I think I went through the quest on this one as well. And let's go ahead and open this pack. So this is the final pack. So fingers crossed, we've got some gold color stuff in here, but there's our rare and there we go. So we've got basically a standard pack, one rare and four commons. So reasonably happy, it's all free cards, so that's the main thing. And you know what, you can actually just go ahead and sell the packs if you actually want the money anyway. So this has been quite a long video. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. And um, don't forget, if you sign up with my affiliate link and you appear in my referrals, I will send you a free Steam Monsters booster pack. So go ahead and get started with Steam Monsters. Uh, it's actually quite a lot of fun and they're doing lots of cool things. And by about Christmas, or maybe a little bit after, they're actually going to introduce tournaments where you can win up to $1,000 a week. And you at least want to grind away and level up your teams so you can be competitive in the tournaments. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now.